Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. So I want to have a quick look at uh, some um, uh, options to extract text from images that we have uh, here in Power Automate Desktop. So if you look here under OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, uh, it you see there are two options here. One to create a Tesseract OCR engine and one is Modi OCR engine and then extract text with OCR. So the first step, you know, we're going to, to create a Tesseract engine, which is uh, more modern than Modi. And then I'll uh, try to extract some text from uh, different files. I already tried with one file here. Um, you see, I just specify the path here, you know, the image path. And um, for the variables produced, I modified the default value to, to another one here. And uh, let me try to do it, uh, you see, to copy the same steps for, so copy, paste, and paste. So I'll just uh, replace here the variable values and the path for the files which are going to be modified. So then uh, this would be my image number two, which is also on a desktop. You see, I took a couple of random images just to to see how it will, how accurate it works. So then image two, OCR, and this one would be number three. I just modify the file path. Of course, if you had a lot of different images, you, you know, you just put it in a loop for you know, like to iterate through each image and extract text and then save text somewhere. Uh, so, but for now is in this very simple example, uh, what I do is just uh, image three, OCR. Okay. So now as you see here, when we run this flow, uh, it will produce some variables here, right? And uh, let so let me try and go ahead and run it and see what happens. So when we go through the steps, you see the uh, they get populated. These variables they get populated. So let's have a look at the actual image and you know the variable value. So uh, this is the image we have, and uh, this is the variable values. So are you a robot? Yes, this one is recognized. We know you aren't, but our boss keeps assisting. We ask. Yeah, this one is recognized. Then I am not a robot. You see, here is one instead of I. So and then there is a tip. Yeah, so it looks like it worked like 95% accuracy. You see this part did not really exist and here it was I instead of one. Let's have a look at the second image. Uh, this is the uh, variable number two. And uh, let me open the second image. Just minimize it for a second. Open image number two. Yeah, this is just uh, some ad of a Tesla, a new Tesla car. So uh, let's have a look. This is number two. We have the values and affordable never looked so good. Introducing the model. Okay, so this one is not recognized here. Um, so this one works to some extent. You see, it still extracted some images, but this part, it's it's not, you know, work. It did not work well. 
Uh, and let's have a look at one more. The last one is just a course error learning page. Oops, no, this is the false one. I need this one, Im image number three. Yes, so uh, this is image number three. And let's have a look at the values of this variable. So it recognized the URL, you know, in, in some way. Uh, login, enterprise, login, free learning resources for universities and for college students, yes, learn without limits, and then online, yeah, so it recognized some of it still not not uh, the greatest quality but it did something uh, so yeah that's that's how you start with uh, character recognition right so if you need to extract text from images that would be the starting points and then if we look here on the cognitive you see this part uh, and uh, let's look at Microsoft. There is an option called computer vision. So this one will be probably a bit more intelligent and interesting if you create this one. I'm not going to do it right now, but um, that's what you would probably do in a production. So um, you can actually use some models that are uh, a little bit more advanced and that you can um, uh, train those those models so the yeah, IBM you see Google models they have also vision logo detection image etc so to start with you can do some OCR and then to, to be a little more advanced you would go into cognitive here and just configure some services starting from from here so thank you for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy. Bye-bye.